Hey there everyone! My name is Laura and I'm so glad you're here hanging out today at SBP Kids Online Church. While you're here, we're going to sing and pray and have fun while we hear God's Word and we learn about how awesome it is to live a life following Jesus. There is something super cool about you being here with me because you're not just watching me on a screen all by yourself, but we have so many friends watching from all over the world too. How awesome is that? If you're watching, that means you're one of our friends, whether you're a little kid, a big kid, or a kid at heart. So if you're here today, I want to know your name. The first way to do this is by yelling out your name loud and clear. Are you ready? Go for it. Awesome. We can get to know some of our friends better by writing our names in the comments to this video. So if you can, head on over to the comments and type in your name or ask your parents to do it. And because it's so fun getting to know our friends better, I want you to answer this question too. What is one thing that you like to do or play? Okay, you can tell your answer to the people that you're in your room with, and if you can put them in the comments too, that would be awesome. I'll be in the comments watching, and I'm ready to say hi to you. One thing that I really like to do is to read. And I also love talking with all of you and getting to know you guys better. And in fact, talking about talking, I wanted to share with you that we're in a series all about talking. Talking to God, that is. Did you know that you can talk to God about all the things that you like to do? It's true. You can pray and talk to God about anything. And that's exactly what we're going to be learning about today. So let's get the fun started with May and Bloop and find out what question that they're going to be answering today. Well, hello there, friends. My name is May and I'll be leading the way along with my sidekick, Bloop. Bloop, come on out and say hello to our new friends. Hello there, everyone. Bloop here, ready for another fun day. Bloop and I have so many fun things planned. We're going to play games, sing songs, and collect tickets that will help us get a big special prize at the end of our day. Oh, what fun! Mayday! Mayday! Oh, did you hear that, Bloop? Bouncing bubbles! I sure did. That sound means someone needs our help answering a question. Hey, May. Hey, Bloop. My name is Miles, and I have a question today. What can I talk to God about? Hip, hip, hooray, May! What a great question they've asked. Do you think we can answer that question today? I sure do. First, we need to think about where an answer might be. Hmm. Bloop, where do you think would be a good place to look for an answer? Oh, oh, what about a song? Do you think we can find our answer in a song? That's a great idea. Singing songs to God is always a good thing to do. Bouncing bubbles! Let's sing one now! The crocodile goes chomp, the crocodile goes chomp, the crocodile goes chomp to say God I love you. The monkey says ooh ooh, the monkey says ooh ooh, the monkey says ooh.
That's it. In that song, we told God we love Him. That's something we can talk to God about. And look, we got our first ticket too. Grab that ticket and put it in your pocket for later. We can put this ticket away and use it for a prize at the end of the day. Oh, yay! What a happy day! May, do you think telling God how much we love Him is the only thing we can talk to God about? That's a great question, Bloop. Surely there are more things we can talk to God about. Maybe there's somewhere else we can look. Hmm, can you think of another place we could look for an answer to the question, what can I talk to God about? Oh, oh, I know. God's word is full of answers to all kinds of questions. Great idea, Bloop. The Bible is the best place to go for answers. Let's look there now. Bouncing bubbles. Boys and girls, if you're ready to take a look into the Bible with us, say, the Bible is the book for me. The Bible is the book for me. Hello, friends. The Bible has many answers for you and me. One day, Jesus told a big group of people, ask and God will give to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. So Jesus wants us to ask, seek, and knock. Hmm, ask, seek, and knock. Let's practice doing those three things with one of my favorite toys. First, let me ask you a question. Can you help me find a puppy? Do you think we should look in the doghouse? I think so too. There's a puppy. Thank you for helping me find him. Just like I asked you to help me find the puppy, we can ask God anything. Okay, now let's seek and find something else. Let's look for a car. Is it in the lunchbox? No. Do you think we'll find it in the cookie jar? Nope, not there either. What's that? You think it's in the garage? There it is. Just like you helped me, God will help us find anything we seek. Now, let's knock knock on the birdcage door and see who is in there. Knock knock with me. Knock knock. Who's there? Look, it's a bird. Whenever we talk to God, it's like we're knocking on his door. And Jesus promises that God will always open the door and listen to us whenever we knock. After Jesus told everyone listening to ask, seek, and knock, he said, what would you do if your son asks for bread? Which of you would give him a stone? Nobody would do that. Then Jesus asked, if your son asks for a fish, would you give him a snake? No way! Jesus said that even though mommies and daddies aren't perfect, they still know how to give good gifts to their children. Look, it's a cuddly teddy bear. What a good gift. Then Jesus said, so surely your heavenly father will give good things to those who ask him. God is our heavenly father and he has so many good treasures for us. All we have to do is ask, seek, and knock because we can talk to God about anything. Wow, what a great story. And look, we got another ticket because we learned that we can talk to God about anything. Go ahead and put that ticket in your pocket for later. Oh, yay, May! The Bible tells us that we can talk to God about anything. You're right. I think we should celebrate what we've learned so far today. Hmm, can you think of something we could do to celebrate? Oh, hey, I say we play. Let's spin the wheel for a game. That's such a great idea, Bloop. Oh, happy day. Everyone, 
Stand up and play a game with me. The wheel landed on Pirate Party. This is a super fun game we can all play. We're going to pretend to be pirates. Arg! Yay, hey, hey, jump aboard me hearties. We're pirates on our way, so join our pirate party. You're the pirate crew, and you're here to save the day. So here's what pirates do, just follow what I say. Hoist the sail! Hoist the sail! Heave ho! Heave ho! Steer the ship! Steer the ship! Swap the deck! Swap the deck! Now let me see you dance the jig! Dance the jig! on our way, so join our pirate party. You're the pirate crew, and you're here to save the day. So here's what pirates do, just follow what I say. Hoist the sail! Hoist the sail! Heave ho! Heave ho! Steer the ship! Steer the ship! Swap the deck! Swap the deck! Now let me see you dance the jig! Show them your pirate moves! Yay, hey, hey, you saved the day, me hearties. Yay, hey, hey, and we're glad you joined our party. Yay! Great job, me hearties. You can put your eye patches away for now and take your seat. Well, bouncing bubbles. That was great. And look at that. We got another ticket because even when we're pretending to be pirates, we can talk to God about anything. Like, if we're having trouble hoisting the sail, we can ask him to send a friend to help. And if we're mad about having to swab the deck, we can tell him about that too. We can even talk to God about how much we love having fun playing pretend with our friends. You're right, Bloop. Yo ho, that was so much fun. There's a super special verse in the Bible that tells us more about talking to God. This verse tells us that God wants to hear us talk to him about everything. We can and should talk to him about what is happening in our lives. When we talk to God, he hears us and helps us. So say this after me. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Philippians 4, 6. Great job. Okay, now I'm wondering if you can say it with me, but without these words on the screen. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can do it all together. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. No matter what happens, tell God about everything. Ask and pray and give thanks to Him. Philippians 4, 6. You're getting it, me hearties. If you think you already know this one by heart, why not make a video and send it to me at this email address right here? That way you can help lead it in two weeks when we hang out for the very last week of January, which is also the last week of this Hey God series. Our theme song for this series helps us think about what this verse teaches us. So let's go sing it now and worship God. can pray when I'm mad, when I'm worried, when I'm sad. I can pray anytime, day or night will be just fine. When I do, I close my eyes, picture Jesus in my mind. I can't ask for 
can pray when I'm mad, when I'm worried, when I'm sad. I can pray anytime, day or night will be just fine. When I do, I close my eyes, picture Jesus in my mind. I can ask what I need, I can trust He's listening. of the Bible called Matthew, we can read what Jesus said to a huge crowd that had gathered to hear him talk. And in Matthew 7, 7 through 9, we can see what he had to say about praying. Jesus said, ask, and God will give to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will open for you. We can ask God for anything. Yes, anything. We can ask him to protect our family. We can ask him to help us make good grades. We can ask him to keep our pet fish, Jimbo, alive while we're on vacation. We can even ask him for a million cupcakes. And Jesus promised that when we ask, God will give to us. He may not give us exactly what we ask for if it's not the right time for us to have it or if it's not what's best for us, but he will give us exactly what we need. And did you hear Jesus say that we can seek and we will find? That means we've got to look for how God will answer us, like we are pirates looking for treasure. We can dig through God's word like paleontologists searching for dinosaur bones, as we search for answers to all our questions. And Jesus promised that when we do, we will find what we need. Then Jesus told everyone listening that we can knock and the door will be open for us. Why do we knock on a door? Because we hope someone will answer. Jesus promises that God will answer. He may not answer right away, but that doesn't mean he's not hearing us. We just have to keep knock, knock, knocking until he answers. The cool part is that we don't have to worry about bothering God because he loves when we come knocking. And we don't have to sneak around like a burglar trying to get something from him either. We can just go right up to his door and knock by praying and talking to him. And now, a word from the jokester. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes me. Who are you? Knock, knock. Who's there? Impatient pirate. Impatient pirate. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tank. Tank who? You're welcome. So one day every year, I tell my kid yes to anything he asks. He always comes up with some fun things to ask me for. So let's see what he thinks of today. Morning, buddy. Hey, so today is officially Say Yes Day. So what do you want to do first? Can I play video games all morning? You sure can. What's next? 
I think I really want to play baseball for a little while. Will you throw the ball with me, Dad? Let's do it! Hey, Dad, can I please go down the big hill on my scooter? Please? You got it, dude. Hey, Dad? Hey. Can I have a whole carton of ice cream for dinner? Sure can. Say yes day is the best day. Oh no, I think I might be sick. You know, I love saying yes to my son. It brings me so much joy to see his face light up when he gets to do something that he wants. I always want to do good things for my son, but as you just saw, if I only ever say yes, it's not really good for him. There are some things that he wants to do, like ride his scooter down a super steep hill. It's just not what's best. So I have to say no, sometimes because I know some things that my son doesn't know. And the same is true of God, but even more so. Sometimes God will tell us yes, because He wants to see us full of joy. But sometimes God's gonna tell us no. And it's not because He doesn't love us, it's because He knows what's best for us. So now, I better go make sure He doesn't need something for that bellyache. I can talk to God about anything. Trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not Woo! You are greater than all I feel You know it all and you always will I trust in you with all that I've got Doesn't even matter if I feel it or not Woo! God is greater than my feelings He knows everything He knows everything He knows everything God is greater than my feelings He knows everything Bloop 
it's time to count our tickets and see if we can get a special prize to help us remember all we've learned today. Oh, bouncing bubbles. I love prizes. Me too, Bloop. Let's count and see how many tickets we have. Boys and girls, count with me. One, two, three. We have three tickets. Let's see what prize we can get with our three tickets. Hmm, it looks like there's a silly hat for three tickets, a ball for three tickets, and a toy lion that costs three tickets. Boys and girls, do you see which prize we could get with the three tickets we have? You're right, we can get anything. We have three tickets and all of these prizes cost three tickets. We can trade in our tickets for any prize we want. Go ahead and grab the one you want. Hmm, if I could have anything, what would I want? Ah, I choose the silly hat. Oh, happy day, May. We got it. <laughs> oh, what fun. Now we will always have this special prize to remind us that we can talk to God about anything. Now we need to call Miles back and tell him that we found the answer to his question. Hey Miles, I just want to tell you that we found the answer to your question. You asked, what can I talk to God about? And now we know, you can talk to God about anything. You can ask him a question and you can tell him thank you. You can talk to God about anything like your family, your pets, and even silly hats. Wait, so you're saying I can talk to God about my pet lizard? You sure can. Okay, let's do it. Everyone pray with me. Hey God, thank you for my pet lizard. He is feeling sick. Will you please help him feel better? I love you. Amen. Amen. What a great prayer, Miles. Right after Jesus told the crowd to ask, seek, and knock, he said, do any of you have a son? The thing is, Jesus already knew that there were plenty of parents in the crowd, but he wanted them to think about all of the awesome things they would do for their kids if they could. Jesus told them, what would you do if your son asked for bread? Would you give him a rock? Or if your son asked for a fish, would you give him a snake? Jesus said that even though they aren't perfect, they still know how to give good gifts to their children. Then he told them, so surely your heavenly Father will give good things to those who ask Him. So we can ask God for literally anything. We can read the prayers of people throughout the Bible and see that they prayed for all sorts of things. But the one thing they had in common is that each talked to God about things they cared about. Like Nehemiah, who asked God to help him talk to the king about something that was bothering him. Or Solomon, who prayed for wisdom. Moses even complained and God still listened to him. And then there's Joshua, who prayed for the sun and moon to stand still in the sky. Oh, and Jesus prayed and thanked God for some bread and fish that he used to feed the crowd listening that day. See, we can pray about anything. I can talk to God about anything. Wow! Good gift, bad gift.
So I have a question. What happens if two people ask for opposite things at the same time? Which one gets what they're asking for? If you pray for your soccer team to win the playoffs, but someone from the other team is praying for their team to win, you may wonder, who is walking away with the trophy? God is listening to both of you. God is able to do anything we ask of him, but it doesn't necessarily mean he will. Sometimes God is going to answer with a yes, while other times he's going to answer with a no. You may even get a not right now from God every once in a while. We may not fully understand how God chooses his answers, but one thing we can know for sure is that he knows what is best for each one of us. And that's exactly what he's going to do. Oh, so that's how it works. All right, I've got to ask, what happens if I don't pray? When we pray, we grow closer in our friendship with God, and we get to see how awesome, how powerful, how loving, and how in control he is. So not praying means missing out on all of those things. In the Bible, Jesus gives us specific instructions to pray. So not praying is actually disobeying. Jesus knew praying is so important. That's why he showed us how to do it. Talking to God may seem complicated, but it's actually pretty easy. We can talk to God just like we talk to a friend, and we can tell him anything. That's cool. Here with another word, I present to you the Jokester. Knock, knock. Who's there? Wah. Wahoo. Wahoo? What are you so excited about? Knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Say what? I didn't know you could yodel. Little old lady who? Wow, how cool is it that we can talk to God about anything? Like, I don't have to worry that God is too big for my problems or the things that are important to me. And hey, do you remember how the Bible tells us to ask, seek, and knock? That's how easy it is to talk to God. Well, actually, that reminds me of something we learned last week. Do you remember that we can use the letters in the word pray to remind us of some of the ways that we can talk to God? Today, we're going to pray the A prayer together, and we're going to do what Jesus tells us to do in the Bible and ask. God can hear us even when we pray silently by thinking our prayers to God. So everyone, close your eyes with me and listen to me as I guide you through this prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you that you hear us and that you tell us that we can ask you for what we want and what we need and what we need help with. So for anyone who can hear my voice, I want you to think and talk to God right now. Is there something you need help with or something you need or something you want? Ask God for it now. God, thank you that you want us to talk to you and that you always hear us. Help us trust that you are listening to us about everything we pray. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Prayer is such a wonderful way that we get to talk to the God of the universe who loves you. Praying grows our friendship with God, just like talking with your friends makes you closer to them. You know, talking with God will help your heart feel closer to Him too. And God wants you to talk to Him because He loves you and cares about what's important to you. He wants to include you in everything that He's doing. So when you pray, God will hear you and it opens the door for you to hear, see, and be part of God's perfect plan. All of us can pray, even little kids. Since prayer is so awesome and I want you to pray, I want you to start praying and I want you to keep praying, I have a really special present for anyone who can read and write. And if you're almost there, you might want to ask your parents for help with this. 
It's a prayer journal just for you. I can email it to you for your family to print, or I can send it to you in the mail depending on where you live in the world. This is going to be an awesome way for you to spend time with God and pray in different ways for 21 days. And I can't wait to see how it changes your life. I need you kids though to promise me that you're going to commit to it, that you're going to try it, that you're going to spend each day in this journal when you get it, okay? To get it, go to saintbenedict.ca slash sbpkids and look for the sign up to request the 21 day prayer devotional. Awesome. Well, now let's recap what we learned today. So in case you missed it, here's what you need to know today. I can talk to God about anything. Now you say it. I can talk to God about anything. That was great. Now say it in your best pirate voice. Arg! I can talk to God about anything. Arg! Yo-ho, that's it. Now give me your best robot voice. I can talk to God about anything. What a great way to end our day. We can remember that we can talk to God about anything. He wants us to talk to him because he loves us so much. Your family can keep talking about all of this at home with our at-home activity guide. To sign up for it, you need our newsletter, which you can get at tinyurl.com slash svpkids42, or you can find the sign up on saintbenedict.ca slash svpkids. Today's activities even include a really cool way to pray using Legos. Don't forget to also ask me for the prayer journal. I'm going to include it in a link in the email that goes out, but you can also request it by going to saintbenedict.ca slash sbpkids. And finally, if you're in grade four, five, or six, I want to invite you to do something with me and other kids your age that is super fun. It's on Wednesday nights and it's called The Encounter and it's a group just for your age. We meet online on Zoom, we hang out, we play games, and we talk to each other. Right now we're talking about survival skills that we need to survive life. You don't want to miss it and we always are ready to have new kids so we hope you come. Sign up by going to tinyurl.com slash encounter 456. I really hope to see you there. Okay, I'm signing off for now, but I thought I'd leave you with something else silly and fun for last. Have a great week and don't forget to say, hey God.